Royal snub, Prince Andrew furious as Beatrice and Eugenie forced out of Queen role. Prince Charles blocked Prince Andrew's daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie having roles within the royal family where they would represent Queen Elizabeth II according to a royal expert. Royal expert Katie Nichol told True Royalty TV the treatment of Beatrice and Eugenie was problematic because their father wanted them to have roles within the royal family where they were representing Queen Elizabeth II. Ems Nichol stated Prince Charles told the princesses that they had to go and make it on their own much to the annoyance of Prince Andrew. Ems Nichol said, what happened with Beatrice and Eugenie was problematic as well because their father wanted them to have a role within the royal family where they are representing the Queen. Eugenie and Beatrice wanted to help Granny but they also wanted to have jobs. Of course then you are in a sticky situation, again it's half and half out. It was Charles who swept in and said much to Andrew's annoyance they have got to go and make it on their own. Beatrice and Eugenie were very happy to do that and it is working but you still see that knockback effect. So when we are picking up the bill as taxpayers for the security costs for Eugenie's wedding people were asking why because she is not a full-time working royal. How Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's security costs should be paid has been a topic widely debated following their decision to step down as senior figures form the royal family. Last week a former royal bodyguard told the BBC's Word at One that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry need to keep police protection. Jackie Davis stated that the private sector did not have the same level of resources available to the public sector when it comes to security. Ms. Davis stated background intelligence, FTAC and several carriers of policemen in reserve were needed to provide the level of security needed for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The former royal bodyguard said, as good as we are in the private sector, it is not just about the people on the ground. You have intelligence in the background. You have got to FTAC which Scotland Yard has. FTAC is people who are known to have a grudge against the royal family and are kept an eye on I believe. So you need all of that. If something goes wrong in the private sector we haven't got several carriers of policemen sitting around the corner coming to our assistance. Meghan Markle latest, why Eugenie and Beatrice will never be like the Duchess. The royal family has endured its fair share of scandals this year. But it seems Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice won't be at the center of any like the Duchess of Sussex Meghan Markle for one reason. Meghan Markle came under a great deal of scrutiny after both herself and Prince Harry announced they would be stepping down as senior members of the royal family. The move resulted in a great deal of backlash for Meghan, but it seems Eugenie and Beatrice will never endure the same amount of scrutiny as Meghan. The royal family has had a turbulent year so far. A number of Meghan's decisions has resulted in a great deal of backlash, including her handling of the palace's decision to block them from using their lucrative Royal Sussex brand name. Following the decision the Sussexes posted an ambiguous statement on their website which appeared to suggest the royal couple were being treated differently to other members of the royal family. Moreover, there has been a great deal of speculation that other members of the royal family are furious at them for their decision to leave their royal duties and begin to make their own lucrative deals. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams previously said the future King Prince William and his wife Kate would have felt a severe blow to the monarchy following Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's decision to exit the royal family. As the future of the monarchy. Mr. Fitzwilliam said William and Kate would have not appreciated Meghan and Harry's decision to drop their royal duties. Mr. Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, the fact that the Sussexes behaved as they did was a severe blow to the monarchy. William and Kate, together with George and his siblings, are the future of the monarchy. They will not have appreciated the way the Sussexes have so flagrantly disrespected the Queen and shown such open disregard for the institution. Many have compared Meghan Markle to Eugenie and Beatrice's mother Sarah Ferguson who was also wrapped up in a number of scandals in the past. However, many speculate the princesses will never come under the same amount of scrutiny as their mother and the Duchess due to their royal blood. Having been royal since birth, the sisters, who are 31 and 29 years old respectively, may have an advantage when it comes to harsh scrutiny. Beatrice and Eugenie didn't enter the family as outsiders. 
As a result, they haven't had to start from scratch and win over with members of the family or the public. Instead, they've had their entire lives to get used to the customs of royal life and build relationships with those inside the walls of Buckingham Palace as well as the public. The pair have attended royal engagements since a young age, and continue to do so today. Moreover, they have been able to live outside of this spotlight. Especially as children, Beatrice and Eugenie were able to grow, make mistakes, and explore the world largely outside the royal spotlight's glare. Their standing in the line of succession to the throne also gives them a bit of breathing room as they're not at the top of the list to one day lead the monarchy. Behind their father, Beatrice is ninth in line to the throne. Meanwhile, Eugenie is tenth from the throne, according to the royal family's official website. The main scrutiny the sisters have had to deal with is that of their parents. As children, they had to deal with their parents' separation in 1992. More recently, the sisters have had to deal with the controversy of their father's controversial news night interview regarding Jeffrey Epstein. Queen's demands to Meghan and Harry after couple's royal snub to Beatrice revealed. The Queen may have commanded Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to invite Princess Beatrice's mother, Sarah Ferguson, to their wedding, but they did not include her in the reception, triggering the current feud between the Yorks and Sussexes, according to unearthed reports. Harry and Meghan are continuing to cause a stir among the royal family as they try to finalize details for their new financially independent lives outside the firm. In a row with the Queen over the use of their brand name Sussex Royal, the two appeared to take a dig at Harry's cousins, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. In a statement released last month, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex implied the 12-month review system in place for them is unnecessary as there is precedent for other titled members of the royal family to seek employment outside of the institution. Both of Prince Andrew's daughters have full-time jobs, Beatrice is the vice president of a data and software company while Eugenie is a director at a London art gallery. Writing in the Daily Telegraph Royal expert Camilla Tomini pointed out how these summer intentions between Harry and his cousins may have started at his wedding. Ms. Tomini said, There have been summer intentions between the Sussexes and the Yorks ever since Harry and Meghan chose not to invite Sarah, the Duchess of York, to the evening reception of their own Windsor wedding in May 2018. Sarah, affectionately known as Fergie, was invited to the ceremony at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle but she suggested in a later interview that her invitation was just the Queen's doing. Praising the Queen on Good Morning Britain, Fergie said, she leads by such example and to include me is a wonderful gesture. Yet she quickly added, I felt honoured and grateful for Harry and Meghan to invite me. It was very kind of them and I think I can't thank them enough for doing that because it was nerve-wracking but I knew I was ready. Still, Fergie continued to praise the Queen throughout her interview. She said, I just think that Her Majesty is an incredible lady. What an icon to the country and one of the finest people I've ever met. She leads by such example and to include me is a wonderful gesture. Her Majesty knew me from a little naughty age 10. I can't thank Her Majesty enough for being so steadfast to me. Ms. Tomini explained that Fergie's absence at the evening reception followed hurtful rumors that Harry suspected his aunt of leaking the story of then-blossoming relationship with Meghan in October 2016. However, Fergie strongly rejects these claims. Other sources suggest that it was Charles who stopped Fergie from being invited to their evening reception. An insider said, she is not a member of the royal family anymore and Prince Charles simply doesn't have time for her. He just can't see why she is still such a big part of his brother's life. Fergie was not invited to Prince William and Kate Middleton's wedding back in 2011 either, which she told talk show host Oprah Winfrey was so hard, because the last bride up that aisle, at Westminster Abbey, was me. However, according to Ms. Tomini, Eugenie and Harry were always considered to be very close especially as they move in the same social circles. Ms. Tomini explained, Eugenie was once described as sharing a mischievous streak with her partner in crime Harry, both having reputations in the family for their cheeky sense of humor and propensity to giggle during stuffy state occasions. 
Harry's decision not to invite Fergie to the reception at Frogmore House would therefore have been perceived as a much greater snub. Since then, relations seem to have deteriorated between the Yorks and the Sussexes. There has been speculation that Harry and Meghan may not even attend Beatrice's wedding to Eduardo Mapley Mozzi in May, despite being invited. An insider recently confessed there was not much clarity over whether the royal couple would be attending. They said, of course Harry and Meghan will be invited, but it is up to them whether or not they choose to attend.